Hi everybody, Amber here from Atomic Photography, bringing you tips and tricks on beauty and fashion photography. Uh, this week I am doing a review of a new camera brag that I've bought recently and I'm really excited to show you. about you but I basically hate proprietary made camera bags why do they make them so ugly and screaming look at me I have a camera inside me because when I go traveling the last thing I want to do is to scream tourist and to flash around that I've got expensive gear with me so I've always been on the lookout for bags that don't look like camera bags and that's particularly harder for us ladies out there, am I right? Um, so basically what I've been doing is either going for uh, the couple of brands that are out there like Epiphany Bags or Joe Totes in the past, or I've been using work rucksacks, um, like laptop bags that have doubled up as camera bags. The other thing that I did recently as well is uh, just use some of my normal handbags or shopper bags. The problem with those is that they're not really designed for the kind of weight that our gear tends to be at. So once you get a Canon 5D Mark III body with a few lenses, you're, you're looking at too much weight for some of those bags. So I really was on the lookout for something that was stylish, something that wouldn't scream, look at me, I'm a camera bag, but would also have lots of room um, for when I travel because I travel quite a bit. Um, so I landed on the Kelly Moore backpack. It is called Woodstock. And the reason why I've gone for this bag is basically I travel quite a lot and I used to carry uh, sort of shoulder bags during the day. And the sort of weight that some of our gear comes in at just doesn't make it feasible to carry on your, on your shoulders. So I had lots of neck problems and things like that. So I need to have a backpack, um, especially when I've got it packed to the max. Um, uh, particularly traveling at the airport. Uh, but out and about during the day, I might have less gear on me. If there's a particular style that I'm shooting, uh, as you've seen from my What's In My Camera Bag video, you know that I'm a bit of a minimalist shooter. But now that I've got a drone as well, I've got my 5D, I've got my 200D and I've got a few lenses, you start to go, ah, I need something proper to carry this in. And I really like this bag because it doubles up, not just as a backpack and it's got really nice padded um, sort of straps at the back, but it's also got these side handles, which I could put any handle on here and turn it into a shoulder bag for the daytime. So I'm really looking forward to, to using this bag. But as well as just um, the functionality, the form of it is, I mean, just look at that, it's gorgeous. It's, it's a vegan leather. It's basically got lots and lots of pockets. So there's a pocket here. There's two zip compartments at the front. There is the credit card holder or memory card uh, pouch. So um, there's basically a zip compartment here with mesh in it. And um, it's just a beautifully, beautifully made bag. So, you know, you've got lots and lots of pouches to, to put things in on the outside, as well as then the main camera area, which is a set of uh, dividers. This is this entire thing is removable. So even if you weren't um, sort of shooting and you just wanted a stylish bag, you can double this up. There is a section for a laptop. Now, uh, the actual sleeve itself here holds a 13 inch laptop, but if you were to just put your 15 inch in, it fits and there are some clear pouches in here so that you can put cables, extra batteries and things like that. And there's a zip compartment here too, which I think will be really handy for wallet and uh, money and things like that. So um, really beautiful bag. And I'm really, really happy 
it doesn't feel too heavy or too bulky as well, which is what some of my other sort of camera, not camera bags were. So um, this comes out really, really, really nicely. I will start to fill it up as well and I'll show you how much capacity it can actually hold. So I'm just gonna show you um, how uh, some of my stuff fits in. So I've got a Tamron here. Um, it's my uh, 28 to 75 mils. I do not leave the house without that. I have my Canon. So I'm just going to put my Canon 5D in here. And so this comes into this section. Um, and that feels quite snug. And then I'm going to put my 20mm lens in here. And you can see I've got enough room for a, a speed light in there as well, um, which I don't tend to really use when I'm traveling. So I'm going to fill that space up with the chargers and some of the cables, extra batteries and things like that. So I've got my 15 inch MacBook and I am going to, let me just see if it fits in that, in what they say is a 13 inch sleeve. Yeah, it would just about fit. I think it would be pulling on the zips if I did that. So it, it does fit into the sleeve where it is, but um, I think I saw a video on their website. Yeah, that's more comfortable. If you wedge it between the sort of padded insert and uh, the side of the bag, then that's a, that's a better fit and won't be pulling on the zips as much. So I've got my uh, Apple charger as well. And so you can see that there's plenty of room. I, I reckon I could even fit my DJI Spark in here. So that'll be, that. I mean, that would just be amazing. I can put my passports, I can get the drone, I can get my cameras in here. And yeah, so generally the GoPro travels with, with Lana anyway. So um, yeah, I mean, let me, let me just have a look because I've got, I've got my GoPro, I've got my GoPro, in here and I have a gimbal in this bag. So I actually brought a lens cover, uh, like the biggest 70 to 200 mil lens lens covers. Um, and it's a neoprene bag, so it kind of it kind of fits it. But you could, just to show you, um, you could get that in there, no problem. So I could even transport a gimbal with the GoPro and my 5D, plus my lenses, plus my chargers and my batteries, etc and my laptop and it all fits into this bag. So yeah, I'm very, very, very impressed and I can't wait to use it, so. Oh, did my cat just come in? My cat came in. So all in all, once I've packed it, I've had a bit of a play. I'm really impressed with this bag. We will, of course, have to test it out on a travel journey for sure, and I'll bring you um, how that goes as well. I'll put all the links in the description below uh, to the bag, and uh, also just some other bags that I saw along the way, which might be handy and useful for you guys when you're doing your research on which camera bag you're gonna get next. Enjoy, guys, bye.